Okay, it's definitely filming now. I mean, not that it's going to change what we're doing, but. You want to zoom in a little? I think. And then tap it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm glad you're there. Thank you. All right, title your notes today, Metric Conversion. Metric conversion, and don't use red, you said, but I bet black or something like that's best, right? For showing up on film. Oh, I don't have black, I have blue. There's a brown. I could use brown. Brown's such a icky color. But I can use brown. What's our title? Metric conversion. Oh, oh. Okay, that's the color brown of something very unpleasant and stinky. Let's try this one. Can you tell about Pelotone? I wish it was Nutella. I hate Nutella. Really? Oh, dude, more for me. It's all right. Okay, there's your title, Metric Conversion. It does. It does. It does. Excellent. All right, so I'm going to teach you a shortcut today, and it's basically going to require a mnemonic device. Now, when I show this to you, you might have to turn your notebook sideways because you need to have it all the way across the top, not in two lines. So you might want to turn it sideways like landscape, okay? And then I know it sounds crazy, but just write down what I'm going to put up there, and I'll tell you how we're going to use it. Okay, here's your shortcut mnemonic device. If you need to move, it's totally fine. King Henry dies. That's the second one. I mean, that's the scientific. Uh, yeah, that's the classification. By drinking apple juice. Chocolate milk. I don't remember this one. I thought we did this one. Yeah, we did that one. You might have. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. This is helpful as a mnemonic device to remember the order of the prefixes in the metric system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in down below the first letter in each word what that prefix is, so what it stands for. Brody, can you see, honey? Are you? Okay. So K is kilo. Then H is hecto. Yes, Harrison? I made my lines like all the way down the paper. Like this. Oh yeah, that's fine. That works great. We can do your practice ones on the, on another sheet, so that's fine. D is deca. B is actually two words, base, unit. The other D, down below base unit, is deci, D-E-C-I. Like decimal. The C is centi. And finally, the M is milli. Okay, so that's what they all stand for. Now, I'm going to give you the letter prefix that we use, because we don't want to write that out every time we write a number. That would be a really long unit. So we abbreviate, just like inches, we abbreviate as IN. These have abbreviations as well. Kilo is abbreviated with a K. So kilometers are KM. Kilograms are KG. Hecto is H, lowercase, lowercase H. Uh, there's only one unit totally that's uppercase. We keep them all lowercase except for liters. And that one we do uppercase because a small L looks like a one and it got confusing, so we do that one uppercase. Now, notice we have two Ds. So we can't name them both D, because then how do we know which one it is? So this one we call D, D-A, or D-A. 
Yeah, that would be the German version of duh. Duh. I'm going to skip base unit for just a minute, and I'm going to come back to it. This one can be plain D because we made that one DA. So this one is plain on D, lowercase. <clears throat> Centi is lowercase c. And milli is lowercase m. Okay, so those are all the prefixes. And we put those, they're prefixes, so they go in front of the unit. So we could have... Kilo, kilometers, we could have kilograms, we could have uh, kiloliters, but all those go in front. Yes, ma'am? Is the K uppercase or lower? It's lower. It's just my upper and lower both look the same, okay. <laughs> but it's supposed to be lower. All right, what are our three base units? So wow. this is not a prefix. What are the three units we use in metric for measurement? So let's start with length. What unit do we use in metric system when we're measuring length? Naya? Uh, that's English system. You're not wrong. That is length. But it's not metric system. So it's not inches, feet, yards. When you run a 5K, miles. Not miles. That's English, but you're still on length. What is it? Kilometers. Good. So kilometers, kilometers. Do you hear meters in there? So length we measure in meters. One meter is about the length of a golf club or a baseball bat. That kind of gives you a visual. All right. Now you know volume if you buy soda. You're so wonderful. How many do you need? Um, I'll just take the whole stack and I'll, I'll distribute them from there. Awesome sauce. Thank you so yes. much. You're welcome. Here's Ms. a little. Tyranny needs like tips every day because she is so good at getting stuff to us fast. All right, if you buy the soda in the big clear bottle with the twist off lid, you know the volume measurement and metric. What is it, Addie? Liters. Liters, good. And that's the only one we do capital. And the reason we do capital L is because of what Harrison was asking about. Can you see how a lowercase L could be read as a one if you're doing numbers? Yeah. So that's why they do uppercase L so that doesn't happen. All right, one more. Wait, and you answered this this morning. Lily? Grams. Grams. And that's a little G. All right. This is the key to conversion in the metric system is using this. Ellery? But is it just a lowercase M? So what if, like, you got, like, case and it's like, Oh, good question. So here's the thing that we're going to be looking at. If it's just M, then it's meters. It's a base unit. If it's one of these others, it's going to be two letters, like M. That's millimeters. So if I just see one letter, I know it's this one. If it's two letters, then I know it's got a prefix in front of it. Okay, that's an excellent question. Anybody else? I'm sorry? What? Did you all ask something? No. Okay. All right, let's practice if you know. If you need another sheet of paper for practice and you have this on its own sheet, that's fine. Just keep this where you can see it. All right? So let's just randomly think of a number. 3.14157. This is our first example. And why don't we start... It's not pi. It is. I thought it goes 3.14159. I think it is 9. I thought it was like a lot more numbers. Oh, it is. It is. It, it is. Yeah, forever. it actually it does is. not end. It goes on forever. Let's convert this to, ooh, millimeters. So this is what these conversion problems look like. They'll give you a number in one unit, then they'll put a blank there for you to convert it. Okay? What? So please write that down and I'll show you how to use our handy dandy tool here to figure that out. All right, don't write in red. Ooh, my favorite teal. Let's hope this shows up. All right, so I'm starting in meters. That's a base unit. How do I know it's a base unit? Because it's one M. Because it's one letter. It's a single letter. So I know it's a base unit. So I'm starting here. That's my starting point. Where am I going? Which unit am I moving to? 
if it's two m's millimeters right so i'm converting to millimeters this is where i want to end any questions about that part so far why'd you go to e for the i end so we're going to start here and end there okay so we're starting with the base unit going to milli so watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to count how many places to move and in which direction. So to get from here to here, I've got to move one, two, three places to the right. So I take my decimal point and I move it one, two, three places to the right. And that's my answer. My answer is three, three, one, four, 1.57. So I just converted from base unit meters to millimeters, and all I gotta do is move the decimal point. Now this is the reason why people prefer the metric system, except for England and the United States, the whole world's metric, and that's why. When you guys were in like, I don't know, second, third grade, did you have to do Gallon Man? Do you remember Gallon Man? It was a device that they teach you when you're little to memorize all the conversions in our system, the English system, which is much more difficult. So he probably started with like a gallon as his body and then four quarts. Do you remember doing this guy? I've um, seen. They probably did it like, I don't know, probably oh, yeah. second or third grade and then how many pints? and a quart. That's scary. And this helped you That's memorize all of that. That's very scary. And then you've got to know whether to divide or multiply by the factor of how many of each goes into the larger one. We did that. You, and it, it is doable, but it's difficult. This is all you do in metric. It's a base 10 system. You just shift the decimal point around. It's way easier. Okay, let's do another one. All right. I need like just a random number, Mikey, and throw a decimal point anywhere in there. Any number at all. Twelve. Okay. Can you throw me a decimal point? You want it just at the end? Yeah. Okay. All right. So twelve. Let's do twelve hectoliters because I never hear of that one. Hectoliters. That's a twelve. And let's convert that to centiliters. Okay, I don't have any base units this time, right? How do I know? Because there's two letters. Because both of them are two letters. Excellent. And you are on the ball today. I love that. All right. So I have hectoliters. I don't that up being over I got this. So where am I starting? Which word? In my King Henry statement, am I starting with? Henry, Henry. I'm starting with Henry. Henry. So I'm going to start here. And then where am I going? To chocolate. To chocolate. I'm going here. So I have to count how many spaces and in which direction. That's how I know where to move Wait, my decimal Do you hold out base unit? So yes, I do. Yeah, good question. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four places to the right. So this started right here. You all know if they don't show a decimal, it's at the end of the number, like a period at the end of a sentence. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to fill some zeros in. Gotta bring the zeros out. So I gotta go one, two, three, four. Wait, I have a question. I didn't think it was centiliters. Uh-huh, you can have centiliters. We don't use it really, but you can have it. So my answer is, gosh, 120,000. I know, I haven't either. It's like not one they use. That's why I threw it up there. I thought it'd be fun. There's some basic ones we use all the time, other ones that we rarely use. Uh, Are we good? Again. Say that again. I don't know. If, uh, it was fixed yesterday, last night. Uh, what was working this morning? morning? And I haven't touched a thing. So. Yeah. I will see that's coming back in. Well, thank you for your effort. Yeah. I appreciate it. All right, so 120,000 centiliters. Questions about that? You want to do the next number? All right. All right, so Pearson's going to give us our next number. Throw a decimal anywhere you want. 
1,628.3. That's right. Ooh. Do you have a favorite unit you want to throw on there? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. okay, let's do... Okay. Yeah, you want to do a unit? Yeah. Can we do a... Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Deca. Uh, deca. 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 You want Deca? Yeah. So we're going to do Deca. Yeah. All right. All right, we're going to do decameters, but it's not a bad word. It actually is the, you know, earth that holds back water and that beaver's so limit. what? Decameters. Huh? <gasps> I know, my sixth graders yesterday, the first time I wrote that, they were like, oh, that's a bad word. And I said, oh, that's what beaver's limit. Do they not know how to spell Well, apparently not. That's okay. That's a blessing if they can't spell bad words. What if it's, um, so what if it's Miller, like, and then, would you just go back around? Oh, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, let's do kilometers so that we're going the other direction. That's what you're asking, right? Okay, let's do kilometers. KMs. All right, now raise your hand, please. Where are we starting? Which word in our little mnemonic device are we beginning with if we're starting with GA meters? Where are we starting? Die. I know, it's so sad. Poor Junior. So we're starting here. I know, he's lactose intolerant. He should have known better. I know. Harrison, where are we ending? I have a question. Yes. So can you go like um, like the word chocolate back to like that? Yes, that's what we're gonna do on this one. Excellent question. So where is this one? What word is this one? King. King. So we're doing that this time, right? Because we're starting here and we're gonna go this way. Wait, you can go back. You can go back. Yes, ma'am. Isn't it just 16.28? I mean, three. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's check it out. So, we, if we're starting here and ending here, okay, starting here and ending here, we're going to go one, two places, this time to the left. So, we're going to drag this decimal point. Ooh, you were right. Two places to the left. Wait. And my answer is 16.283. All righty. Luckily, I am not visually impaired and I can see your hands up. I don't need the oral reminder. Hey, you said that. Yes. Can you, on the question about your chest, uh -huh. thesis? Yes. As a matter of fact, I will recommend to you, we will have a little quiz at the end of the scientific measurement stuff, that you write that at the top of your paper. Absolutely, that's your lifeline. Yes, sir. Okay, so what if it was like, 1.234 or something like that. Okay, 1.234. No, 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 not for like an actual, like, say, I'm just saying. Okay. And then it was at, uh, I don't know, Tesco or whatever, and you like went back. You just put zero. I know, but like, what if it was, the decimal was first and then it went over? Oh, I think that, that's an excellent question. Let's you try it out. Zero. I'm going to move your decimal point here even just to really drive the point home. Okay. Okay, so let's do this example. It's an excellent question. Let's try it out. All right, so let's say this is going to be a decagrams, DGs. Another one we like almost never use, the poor little guy. He just sits in the barn all the time waiting. All right, and let's say, let's take him to kilograms. Kilograms. All right, raise your hand, please, and tell me where are we starting our little trip up here? Which word do we start with if we're decagrams? Which one of those is the D? Die. 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 So we're going to start, drinking. oh, drinking, sorry. We're going to start at drinking. Because see, it's the plain D, the die uh, is the, or da. You said death. Why is there a G on the but you, but you said deca. This is, uh, oh, I should have said decigrams. Decigrams. All right. Where are we ending? King. King. So we're going to end here. So let's count, move, then we'll do our decimal points. So we start where, where our first uh, unit is. One, two, three, four to the left. You put four zeros on. 
Do you guys have? It's one single letter. Excellent. Yes. Is there always going to be a base letter, a base unit? Yes. Yeah, that's a great question. There's always going to be a base unit. There's not always going to be a prefix, but there will always be a base unit. Like every one of these has either meter, liter, or gram at the end of it. Oh. So will there be questions on the test where, like, like the first two letters or the first letter tells us what unit it is? No, no, I don't. I don't go like from this to this and ask you to tell me this. I'll always set them up exactly like we did today. Okay, that would be tricky though. That'd be tricky because you'd really have to think about where, how many you moved it and where it would have gone. Yes, ma'am, all the way in the back. Oh, okay, stretching. Yeah. All right, so Miss Tierney brought us some better practice than I had yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't know the internet was going to go out, and I've got to rethink today as well. But um, so I just grabbed the sheet I had, but this one is way better. So I'll give you some points for this, like I did the thermometer one. Easy points here. It's a completion grade. I want you to go through. I'll leave this up here, but you can use your notes as well. And work as many of these as you can. And as I said, these are a lot better than what I had yesterday. Yesterday didn't have any tutorial. This one actually has on the front, it has some of the tutorial stuff I put on the board for you. So you can reference this can as well. You stop the video? Um, yeah, I'll come and stop it. I can always trim it too. Uh, or a stop. <laughs> 